we're back at it. Archon. We'll do the exchange. Hmm. It's not a good trade for him because I get this open file, which looks very nice in the long term. Simple chess. And that misses that idea. So now it's just a trivial one. You can't give me this much to work with, guy. It's too much. Much too much. Preserve thy bishops. Hard for his king to get out. Let's do that first. Want the rook to come in. About a subtle escape square for the B, just in case. No reason to be in a hurry here because this is completely winning. It's just a matter of technique. No rushing. That counts for you too, buddy. It said no rushing. Now, I personally hate the exchange variation with a passion, but I will say it's solid. That's why I hate it. It's, it's not a bad opening for white at all. And see, I did get better. Queen takes b6. I like my move better. Uh, queen d7 has been all the rage. In which case, now bishop d6. And we've looked at this from the opposite perspective. You don't want to take the pawn because black gets too much play. So I knew that much. And this just makes life easy, this b4, and a6 pitches the game. I, I really struggle to see how black is going to get good play here, and he's really tied down because of this dynamic. It's interesting how one pawn and an open file changes everything. He developed my rook for free, and that's, that's it. I see the mass evaluation jump. His king's not safe. Yeah, this is one to feel good about. This was relatively high level play. Should have just went rook a1. I was worried about king b6. What happens if king b6? c4. Makes sense. I wouldn't have thought about that to compromise the pawn structure, honestly. I didn't think it was necessary. And didn't miss that tactic. Captures, captures the rook. That'll do it for this one. Quick one.